Hi, this is Julie from the Sewing Palace once again, and I'm here to show you some fast holiday gift giving ideas. And these are really fun things that aren't going to take you a lot of time because none of us have much time at this time of the year. So let's start out with these great cups. We have some beautiful cups that came in. And you know what? They're not just a beautiful cup. They come with a little surprise inside that's even more fun. So they each come with um, some little panels to be able to make some beautiful little mug rugs. I'm going to unfold it there so you can kind of see that with instructions how to make those little coasters. So you, what a nice gift. And if you're not a coaster gal, guess what? Wouldn't they make a beautiful little pillow? Just sew the squares together and have a great little pillow that you can put in your kitchen with your beautiful mug. So that's a fast little gift, no sewing required. How funny is that? So I uh, there's three beautiful styles. So I'm gonna move those off to the side there, but great fun fast easy gift good for a friend whatever you're going to be doing the other thing how many of you like to give some wonderful yummy beverages for christmas this is a great little carrier case that's fast it takes no time at all to make this little project very fun very easy so this is called um the bubbly bags and it comes in three different sizes so wonderful for gift giving you make the small one and stuff it with great little goodies for anyone that you need to give a gift to slip in a gift card for the sewing palace wouldn't that be a great treat so it's kind of fun because you start with two zippers and you separate them out you can take them apart so they're two pieces like so and you're going to actually sew them together with a zipper foot to create this lovely little handle that goes on the bag. Isn't that ingenious? Very smart and a fun little accent to add on with zippers because we've always got extra zippers. So the fun part about making this bag is it's really just two very simple pieces. Oh, and a bottle of wine. <laughs> so you're gonna start by taking your your um, front, this would be your outside of your bag. You're gonna put some SF, SF 101 on it. Cuts really fast and easy, press in place. Do the same thing with your lining. You're going to uh, put some soft and stable in there, some Annie's on two pieces. That's gonna give you some padding for your um, perfect package of your wine or your alcohol that you're gonna give to someone or your beverage, I should say. And then once you've sewn these, you do a little sew around them and then it, you have a perfect placement to just applique your little um, icon on the front if you want. Not necessary, but possible. Sew up the sides and voila, you're done and you have a bag. Again, another fast and easy project that you can get done for Christmas. Okay, how about this one? Look at this beautiful yardage of fabric. Two yards of fabric, a serger or a sewing machine, and you have two infinity scarves. Not one gift, but two gifts. And this will take you about 30 minutes at the max to do two gifts, done and one and done. So what you're gonna do is you set your machine up for a flat lock. And then this machine, you're gonna just surge it on, on there. You can do this with a um, regular sewing machine as well. You give it a little tug, it flattens out the piece. So you have a nice little flat seam along there. You do that all the way along the length, which is half. And then you're gonna fold it in half, just like this. So once you get it all pulled, so fold it in half so you have a tube. You're gonna sew around the whole tube with a flat block, pull it again. And voila, you have a beautiful infinity scarf. Isn't that a gorgeous scarf? Fast and easy, truly. And you can get two of them, not just one, but two of them done in no time at all. Two gifts. You got friends, you got two friends, right, that need a gift? Perfect, you'll have them done. What about Christmas stockings? Always make a perfect little gift. So this is the Christmas pattern that I designed for Christmas stockings. You could take a panel of fabric. We have this beautiful panel at the store. Now there's 12 pieces in this, so this is a potential for 12 stockings if you need that many, and they'll all be different. So you cut out a little piece of the panel, and you cut out your stocking. So here's the stocking. Guess what? I folded the edges on this. I'm gonna place it and I'm gonna sew it across the bottom and the top and then finish the stocking. All this will be covered up and you have this great, really fun, personalized stocking for someone. What a great gift. If you have company coming and need extra stocking, have a little bit of time, you can get this one done. An hour, you'd have a nice stocking done. Okay, pot holders, placemats, those kinds of things. The chenille tool, very fun. So, you know what? Maybe you don't have time to do all this because your time is running out. Give the whole package as a gift to someone and they can make their own potholders. 
How much fun is that? So this is a chenille cutter. It's pretty fun. I have marked, um, layered my fabric and made sure that they line up. And they don't have to be so perfect, but they can be, they'll be close. And I've layered four layers of fabric here. Um, and I'm gonna take, I've sewn, I've marked it at every inch increment, and then I sewed in between them, so I have about a half an inch increment. And what's nice about this is you're gonna take your good scissors, and you're gonna give a little clip, but you're gonna go down to the, you're gonna leave one layer, not cut at all. You're gonna make a clip with your scissors to get started. That makes it much easier. You slide your cutter in there, your slash cutter it's called, and I'm just gonna get my fingers there, and you're gonna just simply slide right through here, and you're done cutting. And when you've cut a bunch of rows and you wash that, it makes this beautiful chenille, but you've got all these layers, it's gonna make a really fun looking piece that looks like this. They'll, you'll cut them to size for pot holders. You'll have to come to Sewing Club to see how they look, and they'll be washed and bound in a fast, easy gift. This'll make two, and out of, um, a, a repeat of four, you could probably get about four to five pot holders. So that's kind of a nice gift. And what about the extra piece you have? Wouldn't this be great to make, cut a little line of this and add it to a towel and you would have another gift to go along with your pot holders. You could do some matching towels for your kitchen. So kind of a fast, easy project once again, but you could also kit it up as a gift to go to someone and not have to make all the work. So that's another fun thing. Now, we also have this great trunk show that just came in. Is this not the cutest? How many of you have made the 10 minute um, table runner? This is kind of along the same line with a little more punch, and so it makes it kind of fun. So what we're doing is, this is the Abbey Lane trunk show. It's called Five Fabulous Table um, Snacks. They're calling them snacks. And we're using the ruler that they've created to go along with it because they've done something a little bit different. So they have taken six pieces of fabric and they've cut them into a 10 inch strip. And they've sewed, um, they've I'll show you how they cut because it's kind of fun. And they've made this piece back, which when you put the 10 minute table runner with your centerpiece in, makes this fun little border going on here. They've also used it um, to do this other individual little table runner here. So that's kind of fun. There's no batting in them, so guess what? They're just this fun little fast project. I bet any of you can cut, pull a few little fat quarters out of your stash or come by the Song Palace because we have lots of great pieces that will work. So I've got these cut and I'm just gonna show you what I've done. So I'm gonna move this away just a second. Don't want to cut their table runners. I'd have to replace them. So I have taken my pieces that I have ready and I've layered them and I'm not gonna cut them all right at the moment but I want to I've got four layered here right on top of each other so there's a couple pieces here oops and you're gonna start with your moving mat obviously <laughs> and I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna lay it down at the bottom down here and scoot it over and I'm gonna make my first cut and my second cut and then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna make the next cut. And this ruler could be done used for some other things like dress and plates as well, so you could get a lot of use out of it. But very fast, you're going to have some fun pieces cut so that you can make this. It doesn't take very long. So you're gonna just put one together like this, flip it, put another one on there, and sew these together so there's no odd sewing, they're all straight lines, and then you do two rows of those, and guess what, you have the back for the table runner, add a, front, a fun accent fabric into the center, or do the wonderful little appliques that they've given to you, and you have another fast gift. So truly, these are fast, easy gifts, and we'll see you at Sewing Club on Tuesday, one o'clock or six. This is Julie from the Sewing Palace, thanks.